In this video we're going to take a look at Multigo, which is a tool that can be used to discover, map and visualize open source data. So if you're running Kali Linux or Parrot OS or something, you've probably got this installed already. And there's a few paid options whenever you launch it, but there's a community edition which we can check out for free. So click run there. It's also available on Windows as well um, and Mac. So uh, you can install it wherever you want. We just need to agree to some terms and conditions and then go and create an account. Now, what I'd normally do here is set up a temporary email. So you can just go and Google like temp email. As long as there's nothing sensitive being sent back and forward, it just means you won't get any spam from them in future. So you can grab a temporary email here and then just go and register an account. We need to go and check our email as well. You can see we've got our account confirmation, so we'll just activate our account. And now we'll be able to log in here. And throughout the rest of the process, we can basically just click next and finish. So next. These transforms are like plugins that it's basically grabbing. Next. You can select a web browser if you like, or just leave it on the default. And that's it. So we'll be greeted by this homepage. Multigo is quite a complex application, and you can see here we have a lot of different plugins available which can be installed. I guess some of these will require a premium version, as will a lot of the features as well. We're going to be limited in some of the things that we can do. I also don't have too much experience with this, so I'm just going to go through some of the tabs, some of the options that I was able to find just from playing around with the tool, and then you can do the same yourself and see what you're able to find. We'll try and install a plugin, see how that goes. You can see at the moment there are 62 hub items and one is currently installed. The key function of Multigo is to allow us to analyze real world relationships between people, groups, websites, domains, networks, etc. And we can create custom entities to represent any type of object. What I'm going to do here is just create a new graph. So you can see here, create new graph. We can also go up to the menu option here and import projects, create new projects, things like that. I'm just going to create a new graph. And in here, then we'll be able to select different entities. So you might want to provide an IP address or a domain, an email address, a location. For our example, let's grab a domain and we'll just drag it here onto this graph and you can see we have a domain this is set to paterva.com which is the company which makes Multigo so let's change this to qub.ac.uk and from here we can right click on qub.ac.uk right click on our item and we have a lot of different things that we can do from here so we might want to try and look for DNS from domain you can see then we can drill down into further options and these are the transforms which again we could go into this tab here to find these as well so let's just I'll just select the top option there you can see that it's running the transform and it's identified these two servers qsystest.qub.ac.uk and webmail.qub.ac.uk and it's starting to build up this map so you can see on this map we can actually move around um, right here we can zoom in and zoom out of our graph and these are our entities in here so these could be custom entities but in this case these are entities which already exist which you can see here on the left in our entity palette so we could then go ahead, right click on the webmail, let's see what we've got here, all transforms again. Um, let me, let's go back, could resolve to IP. So we'll resolve that to an IP, then we've got the IP address here as well, we might want to run further information on that. So what is the, who owns this IP address? And you can see then that we've got ripe.net is uh, the host in that server. Um, so you basically keep, can keep going through in this fashion. This is one way to do it. Obviously we started off with a domain there, but you might start off with an email address, you might start off with something else. Um, but let's see what else we can do here as well. I'm actually going to go and we'll create another new graph. And let's see here. So we have the transforms. We can have a look at the transform hub. Let's actually have a look at that shortly. Let's have a look at machines first of all. So you can go here to run machine or you can create new machines and this will give us some presets. So you can see that for some of these we'll need to provide a domain. This will try to get the email addresses of this domain or in some cases we can provide 
some information about a person. So let's try this with the email address. I'll put in my email address here. See out of interest, does it come up with anything? And this is basically going to run through, from what I can tell, this is going to run through a series of transforms. So it's, a machine is basically like a series of transforms that will be running through. Uh, let's put in here qb.ac.uk. That might actually be something different. I don't know if it might be that like ADS. It should be. I'm not too sure. Okay. Uh, that didn't come back with anything. Let's go back. Let's try a different one. Run machine. We'll go. All right. We'll go company stalker. And I'll put in here qb.ac.uk. Finish. You can see here we're restricted to 12 entities in the community edition. So it's only going to bring back a certain amount of items onto the graph. See, it's taken a little while there. But yeah, it's come back with some different email addresses of whatever students probably. Um, if this was a premium version, presumably this would bring back all the email addresses that it's able to identify. Um, so there's a couple of things we can do with that. I would say just kind of play around with this and see uh, see what you can discover. And if you go to this transform hub then, you can actually have a look through some of the plugins here and maybe install some of these and see what these do as well. So. Um, I think I saw, yeah, there's a Have I Been Pwned one, so you could install Have I Been Pwned. Let's try and install that. And you can see it's installed one application server, six transforms, three entities, two icons, and three machines. So we've got some new machines we can actually go and try out now. If you go and run machine, and you can see Have I Been Pwned, so we can provide an alias, we can provide an email address. And that's, okay, it was only two machines, okay, I thought it was three. So again, we could go and provide an email address here and see does anything come up. And this will check the have I been pwned database and should come back with, yeah, so in this case, my, Okay, yeah, the, the gate, my uh, GateHub account is listed on Have I Been Pwned. All right, interesting. So that did actually bring back a result for my email address. So yeah, play around with some of these plugins and these graphs and see what you can do with them. If you go back to the Investigate tab, you can kind of manipulate the graphs from here as well and select different. So we can, for example, select the leaves here, and then we could perform some action on the leaves um, and select different entities by type, etc.